All the talk of the day belongs to college football. Tomorrow, the likelihood of the Big Ten canceling its fall football season and the Pac-12 following suit is very strong. With that comes the option of spring football. That's something we haven't seen at the college football level. Of concern with that are the biggest players opting out to avoid injury for the NFL draft. And then there's playing two seasons in the same year. We're talking more than 20 games with just a couple of months off. Football analyst and former UW and NFL quarterback Hugh Millen weighs in on that aspect of football in the COVID age. I don't think it's uh, ideal. It's far from ideal, but uh, we're living in a world that's far from ideal. Uh, I think the, the biggest concern and the one that would give me the most pause is the idea that you're going to play a season in the spring. You're going to take a couple months rest and then you're going to play a, a, a season in the fall. And so I'm concerned about the potential he health of the players, uh, obviously injured players uh, from the spring. But having said all that, I do believe there's look there's financial considerations. Let's not be let, let's not be naive. Wall Street Journal said in the most recent year that University of Washington had 102 million dollars in revenue just from the football team. Enormous sums of money that have to fund so many other vital what I would term vital aspects of the athletic department.